Welcome everybody to our presentation of the DIPA platform, a dynamically transitioning aerial aquatic vehicle. My name is Friedrich Rockenbauer. And I'm Simon Jäger, and we're both from the Autonomous Systems Lab here at ETH. We took inspiration from nature. This year is the Gannet. It's a bird with a wingspan of about two meters and a weight of roughly three kilograms. And it has a very special hunting technique where it dives down with speeds to up to 100 kilometers per hour and then dives through the surface and hunts in a depth of about 10 meters for fish. And on the other side of the water surface, we have the emperor penguin. It's an animal that can accelerate to 15 kilometers per hour underwater to then jump out through the surface to land on ice. It was our goal in this project to combine the capabilities of those two animals and build a system that can fly and dive in like the gannet and then swim and dive out again like the penguin. We identified three major challenges for our system. The first one is the dive in. Hitting the water surface with fast speeds creates big impact forces. The second challenge is the weight. You want a lightweight system in the air, but you want a dense system underwater, but you still require the surface area to create lift. So therefore, we also have to optimize this part. The last challenge is the speed. We want to have a decently fast system underwater. The Empire Penguin is actually really, really fast underwater. And therefore, we wanted to optimize our propulsion system. The best solution, therefore, we found is a propeller in the front and the ship screw in the back. But we still have the weight constraint, so therefore, we optimized for only one motor. To drive a system with only one motor, we decided for three wheel clutches. Turning the motor only in one direction, to the right in this case, we propel the propeller in the front. Turning it to the left, we'll put torque on the ship's screw in the back. So this is our final system, the Dipper. It has a wingspan of 2.1 meters and a weight of 3.1 kilograms. So you see it's very similar to the Gannet that we've seen previously. It is powered by a 1000 watt brushless motor. Now to minimize the cross-section area during impact and dive, we fold our wings to the back and we do this via a four bar linkage mechanism which is designed to minimize the torque on the servos when the wings are open. Now as previously seen, our motor concept, so if the motor turns into one direction, the propeller in the front is spinning and if it turns into the other direction, the ship screw in the back is turning. Now a major challenge was waterproofing the whole system and we finally achieved this with our electronics capsula that contains the telemetry, the RC receiver, pressure sensor, Pixhawk autopilot and of course a battery. Now let's have a closer look at the different modes of operation of the Dipper. Typically we start with flight. The Dipper has a cruise speed of around 50 kilometers an hour. It can fly for four minutes and reach a range of five kilometers. It is hand launchable and with its foldable wings easy to transport. Therefore it can be launched at almost any location. After the flying phase, we typically transition to a free fall dive in. We start at a height of a maximum 150 meters above the water surface, dive down with a maximum speed of 130 kilometers an hour and hit the water surface and experience 30 Gs of acceleration. To reduce the loads on our system, we fold the wings back during this phase. Underwater, where we still have the wings folded back, we have to rely on differential elevator control to control roll. This is called elevator control. We also don't have connection to ground station anymore and therefore solely rely on the autopiloting system. Underwater, we reach a maximum speed of three meters a second. We can stay there for around eight minutes. Last but not least, the dive out phase. The dive out phase was the biggest challenge we faced. Timing is of the essence. We have 0.4 seconds to switch from full thrust underwater to full thrust in the air, which leads to a transitioning time of three seconds between leaving the water surface and getting back into level flight. This project would not have been possible without the support from our partners and sponsors. And with this, we want to thank you for your attention and conclude our presentation. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. And if you want to know more about the Dipper, then please have a look at our webpage or on the full cycle video, you'll find links to both of them in the video description. Have a nice day.